what is going on everybody my name is Cody and I'm just going to show you guys real quick how I am currently working on my 21st large scale build in Space Engineers this is the as of the 16th of January update into beta phase um, how to build a gravity drive I'm not going to show you exactly how to build a gravity drive but I'm going to show you guys a gravity drive now we're already moving forward just a little bit but um what I'm going to show you guys is uh, not really all that much into it but uh, for now let's see I just want to get all that out of the way anyway what you have to do when you get a gravity drive to move is you have to turn off your inertial dampeners but since I've already done that I'm just going to show you guys how this works um, that's the control panel uh, there's going to be one from the bridge as well but I haven't finished the bridge anyway all these overhead lights they are just for ambient ambiance if you were so we're gonna go ahead and focus on these parts right here now most gravity drives that I've built and have seen are just stationary they look kinda of like how a rail gun would be on a stationary place like a space station as an example but this one I wanted to be a little bit different and uh, be able to control a little bit more finally how fast the ship will accelerate and decelerate and all that kind of stuff so anyway first thing you have to have when you do a gravity drive in any predicament but in this case how I got this one you have to have a spot where you can neutralize all gravity in the the um the uh, gravity drive shafts the way I have it designed anyway so anyway it's gonna be a pain in the ass uh, navigating this stuff while it's flying Anyway, so this uh, this particular gravity generator and this one are elevated to where they'll be in the exact center of the drive shafts. And uh, the reason for that, as I said, is to neutralize the gravity zone because the ship naturally already has gravity here. So these gravity artificial masses will go flying in this general direction no matter how they are situated. They will go down in the flow of gravity so neutralize the gravity first or else your ship is going to fall in this case with four artificial mass blocks which will make it fall pretty decently fast um, so after that we have each one of these and when you're building one you never want these to be on while you're building a gravity drive or else the aforementioned fall through the floor technique will happen so I put four gravity drive or gravity generators not drives bleh, sorry um, each one of these is designed to either pull or push now these on these sides these two are meant for pulling these are meant for pushing so this one is going to be yanking on that one and this one's going to be pushing on that one so every time we have a rotation along the axis it will connect so this one pushes this one pulls push pull push pull and uh, it's doubled on this side so we'll have four four separate instances of force pushing or repelling each other or pulling and repelling so this technique is fairly similar to how a repulsion field generator will act when you have a ship so these right here when they connect to each other they actually cancel each other out as long as they hit each other so that's why I have them spinning as when each gravity generator comes into contact with each other they don't affect each other but they'll affect their uh, their mass block so in this exact spot here the ship does not have gravity when the drive is going right here is always going to be neutral and then as we get into this band here will always be in some form of push or repel now you can reverse the polarity of these to get the ship to go in reverse but it's a colossal pain in the butt to do so I don't really recommend doing it anyway my OCD is kinda going crazy with how this uh, drives are not level but um alright for the most part it's just these two are bothering me those two are fine these two are bothering me so let's go ahead and turn the lights on show you guys what natural lighting in here looks like and then um, to get the drives to work <clears throat> I just have it set up to 
Yeah, I wasn't kidding. All right, so control system. To make make sense of it, we have just regular old activity lights to come on when the drives are spinning. Um, the artificial mass cells, obviously, the rotaries, drivers, the actual drive shafts, and then the uh, gravity zero zone. So whenever this comes online, as you can see, I have them set to rotate opposed to each other. Again, that's more for dramatic effect, but right here we're actually in a... Damn it, son. So, if the drive was actually more perfected, it would be neutralized. And to fix that... Come on. It's hard as balls to do this when the ship is moving. Okay. So... Zero G. We want to neutralize this a little teeny tiny bit. So we'll go ahead and uh, we'll just say 10. Now nah, I should be able to safely walk in here. Yeah. So I'm experimenting. I'm trying to keep the ship from actually falling. It does decline in whatever altitude you'd want. Like we'll say in the case of argument altitude but it's not really altitude but you guys get the point anyway so as this speeds up the ship will move forward faster I can adjust the speed in any way I want right now I'm working on dialing it into where it slowly starts going up to speed more to where it's not gonna like have knee-jerk reaction because I don't like that for the sake of immersion but um anyway in a nutshell, that's how the gravity drive works. I'm going to have a indicator on the bridge saying when the gravity drive is online. I will show you guys that eventually, but right now, you can see a few modded pieces inside the uh, generator. But I have accumulate the accumulator mod hidden behind those conduit boxes, and uh, they're just there to kind of supplement the extra power draw that the gravity generators are going to have at any moment in time. Now. The pro to having a gravity drive is that it's a very cheap way to get forward momentum through space. It doesn't burn hydrogen, it doesn't really require an ion thruster. If you want more immersion, that's the way to go because gravity drives are stuff that NASA is currently working on for the sake of immersion. Not immersion, but um, they're working on that as a form of viable travel. So. This is just me trying to do things that way because it just seems more fun to me. In any rate, <coughs> that in a nutshell is how this gravity generator system works. Right now I have to dial it in some more because uh, the shafts aren't completely set correctly, but eventually they will be dialed in properly. Um, one on the side is actually not doing what it needs to be doing. If you can see, this one right here is actually not rotating properly with the other three. And it's throwing off the overall acceleration effect of the ship in a way. It's not too huge of a deal, but I'm OCD as hell and it's bothering me to, like you wouldn't believe. So, anyway guys, the negative of the gravity drive is if you encounter a system like this with a ship that I would build that has a repulsion field, if the repulsion field catches the gravity drives, artificial masses, the very least problem you'll have is destroyed rotors. And if it's stationary and they can't be thrown off of their axles, then the ship is gonna go flying with opposing force to the other ship, which makes more sense because everything generates gravity, so a gravity generator is going to affect the mass of anything so again that's even more immersion now keep in mind that having a system like this is very taxing on a computer system so bear in mind that and uh, anyway I'm going to power this down now try to get it to you know not goof up on me because now you see it's actually being a real smart ass to me but yeah so in a nutshell guys uh, that is how you build a gravity drive. Um, if this video gets enough likes on it and enough comments and such, 
I will show you guys how to build it. And uh, when I finish building the master model, then you guys will be able to see how to do it and not have to worry about trial and error. But uh, yeah, so if you like this video, please hit the like button. If you dislike the video, hit the dislike button. If you care about me so much because it helps me out, hit the subscribe button and click on the little bell that's up there when you hit the subscribe button. That way you can see my future videos. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. So you guys have a good one.